Meanwhile, Fox News is saying that a top Justice Department official has been demoted. Uh, this seems to follow a familiar drill here, a probe of contacts with the founder of Fusion GPS, the firm behind that Trump dossier, to ACLJ Executive Director Jordan Sekulow. Jordan, what do you make of this? You know, I think this again goes to that point. We do not know enough about what the FBI and the Department of Justice were doing with Fusion GPS. But now if they're starting to demote people and you have to want, you know, the House, the Senate, they all want to know. And I think all the American people want to know how much money, if any money, was exchanged. We know there was a, a contract that was put in place. We don't know if it was ever executed between the FBI, which is overseen by the DOJ, and Fusion GPS to continue work on this uh, so-called dossier. And now we have an official uh, that is being demoted. We've had two officials from the special counsel's teams uh, be demoted, one for sending 10,000-plus uh, texts, some that included anti-Trump uh, text, and that was a top FBI official. He's demoted. Another official there who was, he was having an affair with, also demoted from the special counsel's team. Uh, so it seems like, again, while you've got, I know uh, Director Ray uh, was testifying uh, today, but next week, uh, the acting attorney general for this Russian matter, Rod Rosenstein, has got to testify before Congress. And I, I expect a lot of questions on this, Neil. Yeah, Rosenstein, of course, was the guy who appointed the special prosecutor, uh, Bob right. Mueller, of course, who who fired uh, the one who was sending the nasty text about Trump, the separate issue. But I'm always wondering, and you're a very, very good lawyer, I'm not, but I've watched a lot of legal shows, so I think I could count as an expert, that yeah. one of the things I do notice is that you want to leave a trail of suspicion. That is, if you eventually want to appeal or fight uh, a decision that comes down that's not friendly to you, and that in the Trump administration, maybe the suspicion is that Bob Mueller has a bias, the FBI, the investigation itself is biased, and that they can point back to these uh, if it doesn't go their way. What do you think? Well, I think when you actually have officials that are being demoted by Mueller because they are, they are sending, they, they are biased, uh, admittedly so. They didn't fight back against that. They were demoted. Two officials now from the special counsel's team have already been demoted. One is being reviewed, and he's a top official. Andrew but, Weissman, but I guess what uh, I'm saying is if Mueller did demote and or fire some of these people, there might yeah. be others, uh, does that prove that he, he himself is trying to be very vigilant and fair about this, or, or does it taint whatever is going on? I think the more and more people that get involved, Neil, and get demoted, the more it taints. Honestly, I think that, you know, after a while, if you start demoting all of your top people, so far these have been top people that have been demoted, then you're tainting your investigation. You're not helping your investigation out, especially when the American people and those who are fighting uh, back on this and trying to learn about this and funding it, like Congress, aren't learning about it until months later. I mean, that happened in August, and we don't learn about it until December. That is absurd. I also think this idea that, you know, these retractions on the Deutsche Bank story, that undermines the investigation of the special counsel when they allow a false report to hang out there for so long that they subpoenaed records for, 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 on Donald Trump that they did not. That they, is that fact, official, by the way, that that never happened? The accusation was that Deutsche yes. Bank sometime back had been asked to hand over any records regarding Donald Trump or his associates, uh, so their finances, which is something that uh, the president indicated earlier would be a line crosser there. A red line, right. 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 And now you've got the, the news agencies that reported that. Uh, it was uh, Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg, who broke it initially. They've all retracted that story and said it's associates. The AFP actually said, Neil, which it makes more sense, it was likely the, the subpoena was likely for, uh, in relation to Paul Manafort. And we know his charges had nothing to do with the president of the United States. All right. Uh, yeah, it's not very clear what the position is on that. Uh, Jordan Sekulow, thank you very, very much. Good seeing you again.